Okay, so this is pretty much what Font Explorer X Pro looks like. Um, pretty basic, looks pretty familiar. Um, you got the side panel here, list, info, and preview. Those are kind of the basic components. Looks a lot like iTunes, really. Um, so that's a great thing about this app is that it looks like a lot of different apps. So it's familiar. It's easy to use. Um, this is where all your fonts uh, initially are stored. So this is kind of the, the big list. Everything is right in here. Um, then you can look at different users and stuff um, to specify a little further. And then if you go down here, you have sets. And this is kind of the key to organizing your fonts. Um, you can kind of see how I did it. I've broken it down into uh, categories. And also you can break it down even further into projects. So like this could be a project. And the way that you add a new set is just hitting this plus button down here. And then you just type in a name hit enter and you have a new set. So let's say this new project was um, I was looking for maybe some uh, some body copy for a print project. I can go into my serifs and look through a much smaller list with only the category of font I'm looking for rather than going into um, your application such as uh, InDesign let's say and just looking through this, a massive list like this when you know there's tons of fonts in here that you're not going to want to use. So to have it broken down like this is a, a huge time saver. Um, application sets are kind of cool. Just hit this button down here, new set, and choose an application you're going to be working in. Let's say InDesign, add it, generate name, create. Um, now you can go ahead and add fonts. By the way, the way you add fonts to any of these sets is to just select whichever ones you want by uh, shift clicking or uh, command clicking or just individual and drag them in. So now when I open up this app, uh, if this font was not activated before, um, it would be now. So it's kind of nice. And then Oh yeah, and these checkboxes, uh, that's how you activate and deactivate a font. If you have tons of fonts, you probably want to go through and deactivate a lot of the ones you're not going to be using. Uh, it does uh, take up space on your computer and it can bog you down. So doing that is a good idea and it's so easy to uh, turn them back on anyways. Um, it's like, why not? For these, I could even do um, all these Adobe fonts I've never used. I probably will never use them, so it would be smart of me to to just check them off. I mean, you can still view them even when they're unchecked. So, all right, then right here we got the store. It's kind of nice having a built-in store uh, right in the app, kind of like MyFonts.com or whatever. You just kind of search through. You got different. Uh, lists you can go through here and check out different fonts. Um, there's all kinds of information on each font and you can preview them as well. So just type what you want right there. Change the size if you'd like. Um, color, opacity, stuff like that. It's really easy. Just add your cart right here. And yeah, that's the store pretty much. Uh, you can search Um, you can customize the list here, right clicking and uh, they got all kinds of different stuff you can add and also on the toolbar if you right click you can customize that as well. A lot of useful icons you can add up there to make the app more your own. Uh, these icons down here are different if you don't like the default layout which um, really is the best one for most people. Um, you can switch it up with these. I'm not really sure why you use these other ones. This one might be nice if you have a uh, big screen because then you'd be able to stretch this out more, see more. But for my MacBook Pro, it's not really ideal. This one's the best. Um, let's see what else. If you double click any font, you can get more info on it. Um, I haven't really used this that much. 
I don't know why you would really, but I guess I can see some uses for it. You can see all the characters that the uh, this typeface has. Make sure it has everything you want in it. Um, you can look at the letter forms more closely with this window here. Uh, detail preview. Check out the kerning between different characters. Um, so yeah, that's, oh yeah, if you want to add a font to your computer, let's say you just downloaded it and it's on uh, your desktop, you can just click it and then hit import. And then it's going to pop up right in this list view and it will be unchecked and it'll be highlighted. And if you want to use it, you can go ahead and activate it by just checking it. And then uh, you can drag it into a set right away. So really easy to keep organized with an application like this. I uh, really like this application. It's saved me tons of time. So I recommend getting something like this. And I put, provided a list with this post um, with other ones. There's a lot of free ones out there, too, that can do most of the things that this one can do. Um, if you want to share a font, maybe, that you're looking at getting or maybe buying or something, you can always go into preview here and click and drag out to your desktop or wherever, and it'll create an image for you that's easily printed or shared in email or whatever. You can uh, change the file type, too, to um, any of the standard image formats. So that's pretty much it for this. Thank you for watching.